Believe it or not, there's now a backpack that could save lives after accidents at home or animal attacks or even mass casualty events. Well, in today's Healthier Connections report brought to you by Hartford HealthCare, Sarah Cody shows us how they work. Healthier Connections, sponsored by Hartford HealthCare. We're in a changed society. It started with Sandy Hook and then the Boston Marathon. Recently, mass casualty events in Paris and San Bernardino have shocked the world. Generally speaking, these things last for about 15 minutes. So if you can stay alive for 15 minutes, you'd probably be okay. So Hartford is becoming the first city in the country to widely deploy these Stop the Bleed kits developed by Hartford Hospital, which will be placed next to automated external defibrillators in public places. The project is led by Dr. Lenworth Jacobs. There are shares to cut off clothes and things like that. There is also a tourniquet to place high on a limb over clothes. You wind the device three different times. Put it in the clip. If there's no pulse, there's no arterial inflow in here, you've stopped the bleeding. Now what is really important, right, the time that you put it on. T for time, T for tourniquet, okay. and then put a T on your forehead. Hartford Hospital has also trained more than 200 federal, state, and local police officers for emergency situations. Center for Education, Simulation, and Innovation at Hartford Hospital is the biggest training center in the, in the region. From the control room, signals are sent to a software-based mannequin, which can bleed, blink, <coughs> and cough. He can tell the doctor he doesn't feel well. I feel like I die. Monthly training sessions like this. No change in heart rate, no. still in no the 60s. Challenge emergency responders to think critically. Ultimately, our goal is when something like this occurs, they react to the situation, uh, are paralyzed or frozen by it. Jacob says a treatment for terrorism is an empowered, informed public. Anyone can save a life. We want to have a resilient population who can respond to bad things and know what to do right now. If you'd like more information, just check out the morning section of our website, fox61.com.